What? No way, I'm still in it. Oh my god, no. It was at that moment, Tarek knew he done messed up. Oh my god. All right, what's up, guys? I have a, a overview of today's trading, a little highlight um, of how today went, actually. And it was a roller coaster of a day. So I took two trades today, uh, TEUM and COS. So let me go ahead and jump into TEUM. Um, so with TEUM, the lesson, the main lesson here, I have it written down uh, right here. I keep different tickers, different information that I, you know, find out on here. But one of the things I learned today was do not buy intraday. That's exactly what I did. I bought intraday, and because there was no volume there, and the price was overextended and it was just weak and falling and failing well there was nothing to continue pushing the price up when i tried to buy the reversal so that was what i tried to do let me explain really quickly here i don't want these videos to be too long i see teum coming down teum is uh up today because of some news about new appointed uh people as a coo ct they they that news really jacked the price up and it was great from 190 to all the way highs of 240. I see it coming down. I make these channels here early on. I begin watching it around here. I notice it hits the top, bam, bam, bam. I see it break here. So I was like, okay, maybe there's a reversal. I begin to see consol consolidation and then it begins to trend upwards. I look for where it broke the previous high, which is right here around 225. So I come up with the game plan. I'm going to buy the breakout at 225, hoping that the reversal will begin to trend upwards. And that, and basically, I, I wasn't even taking into account the volume. And that was the problem there. Because when, it, when I bought, it just begins to go, you know, down. Then it comes up, and I'm, about, I'm up about $30 right here. I, be, I have all these different trend lines because it begins to slow down. The, and, and, I, and I realize, okay... You know, I learned this lesson. I cut my losses here at 220. I wanted, I was allowing five cents per share. So I ended up um, paying $60 uh, to basically learn not to buy intraday. I paid $60 to learn that when you have low volume during the intraday period and the price is already falling, it's going to continue to eventually fall. Um, you know, so, you know, I learned that. Let's move on to the next trade. Uh, that was the main thing. Let me see. Uh, yeah. I should have just, uh, okay, so here we go. My second trade, as you can see here, was uh, KOSS, costs. Now, KOSS was up uh, for no apparent reason, no specific news. Um, but what I was seeing here, I mean, it was up a great amount of percent, a total of uh, 114 today. Um, and, th and that's low, as you can see here. But bam, it touches this point at, two, uh, at 340. So there's some resistance comes down, but it has a nice bounce right off of the VWAP, up, down. That was a nice bounce all the way from 280 all the way to 330. That's a nice solid bounce if you could have taken profits. You come, you go up and come down, hits VWAP again, comes up and hits this resistance point. I was like, okay, if it comes down again, hey, there's a good chance that it's going to break out. Even though this is a double top, but... You know, other people were seeing the double top is my, is my thinking in psychology of why this panic. So there is a nice panic all the way from, you know, 345 down here to 316. And I was ready for the bounce. I was going to try to get at 315. Uh, my game plan was to sell out before the breakout. So here we go. Sell it just right before the breakout. And so I have potential to make 147 bucks and potential to lose 54 bucks. So that puts me in at a... 2.5 to 1 ratio. I was like, hey, I like those odds. I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Well, guess what? You have the panic right there. And then it begins to bounce. Here's my entry at 318, which I was super proud of myself. Because if it would have been up here, that's a perfect, you know, a relatively good entry. Um, it begins coming up. I'm up around the low 30 bucks up here when it's at a 325, 326 even. And it begin, and at that point, once I begin to see these red candles, I should have known the bounce is over. It wasn't a strong bounce. Let me get out of here with 20 bucks. And there goes a day trade. I learned a little bit. 
and I tried to have a bounce plate, but I didn't. I held on to it and held on to it and held on to it. All the way uh, at 311 was my sell point. Um, it was 311 was my sell point, and I tried to put in in a rush because I, I, I realized the I realized eventually that the bounce was over around 315, 314, and I see it coming down on my like, crap. So I rushed to put in this order. Don't rush, lesson. Do not rush. Make sure you check your order before you send it in. Because I end up buying 600 more shares of cost at three dollars and twelve cents. I didn't realize whatsoever. So it begins to move. It continues. Oh, my bad. It continues to move all the way down. Me not realizing it. I mean, it, I'm over here down over a hundred bucks <laughs> on this trade, and I don't even realize it. So once I, I do realize that I am owning 1,200 shares of this, I freak out. I try to put in an order, uh, and I realize that I had this. I, I didn't realize. I, I had to call E-Trade. No, 877-598-5000. It's not allowing me to exit the trade and it just keeps going down and I'm down 91 bucks. And I was freaking out. It was, I was absolutely panicking because I wasn't able to get out of the trade because I had an old um, sell order and that wasn't allowing me to sell all 1200 once I got that clear, by the time I got that cleared up, I it was I was already seeing an, it was already uptrending. So I was like, okay, let me wait just a minute so I don't lose as much money, because I am seeing a strong uptrend, as you can see here. Let me show you. Costs. I was in at three eighteen and three twelve, and I sell both of them here at three twenty seven um, for a profit of um, for a total profit of one hundred and seventeen bucks, just about. Um, so I learned so much there about making sure I don't have old orders um, and then getting out of the bounce if there was no bounce. Don't hold on to it until you lose, you know, 50 bucks. If the bounce is done, get out on the top of the bounce. Don't try to wait to see if it grinds back up to the resistance point. Um, so that was the lessons I learned. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.